For much of the 20th century, Plaza Miranda in Quiapo was the main stage for political rallies and debates. Today, it was the backdrop for a non-event. After challenges thrown and ignored, opposition senatorial candidates had no one to debate and their own point to make. Marlene Alcaide has the story. In the earlier half of the 20th century, Plaza Miranda was the place for public demonstrations and debates. But it looks like that era is not coming back anytime soon. Administration senatorial bets ignored the challenge by the opposition for a public debate in Plaza Miranda at high noon on Feb 25th. Five opposition candidates from Ocho Derecho showed up at Plaza Miranda expecting a lively debate with the administration's hugpong ng pagbabago. Curious onlookers watched as a banner was set up and monoblock chairs were arranged at the public square. In the end, administration candidates were a no-show. Kasi sabi ng kanilang uh, leader, si Ms. Sara, ay nakahanda silang makipagdebate sa amin. Pero nakakapagtaka, ay bakit yung mga tao niya ay mukhang tumatakbo? Ay tumatakbo sa Senado pero tumatakbo sa debate. But the problem is, it wasn't even clear if anyone had made formal arrangements for the time and place of the debate. While Hugpong Sar Duterte was quoted as saying they were ready for a debate at any time, there was no clear agreement to meet at Plaza Miranda on Monday. Still, opposition candidates said they have been itching to debate with their rivals. Ang specific na aking uh, tinawa, tinawag na pansin ay si uh, Bongo. No? Bakit? Dahil siya ang pinakasimbolo ng administrasyon na ito. Jokno and Hilbay say it is important for the candidates to face debates so people would know what they can do as future lawmakers. Kaya po sana gusto namin na humarap sa mga kandidato ng pamahalaan para magkaalaman na at magkaharapan na lahat tayo. Malaman ng taong bayan kung sino dapat ang kanilang pipiliin at kung sino dapat ang kanilang iboboto sa darating na halalan. Nalulungkot na kami na pagkatapos na tanggapin ang hamon sa isang debate dito sa isang makasaysayang lugar tulad ng Plaza Miranda ay parang nakatalikod ang aming mga kalaban. Parang nakatalikod yung mga kandidato ng pamahalaan. With no one to debate with, opposition candidates turned the affair into a campaign sortie with selfies and meet and greets. One candidate even took time off for a massage at Plaza Miranda. Past noon, it was already clear that no opponent was coming and that opposition started packing up. Still, the Ocho Derecho candidates said they were willing to cancel their schedules just for a chance to debate with the administration at a time and place of their choosing. Sila na po ang magtakda kung anong araw at anong pet at anong uh, lugar pupuntahan po namin sila kung gusto po nila makipagdebate sa amin. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, we are One News. Far from Plaza Miranda, candidates backed by the administration and by the hugpong ng pagbabago took their message elsewhere. Mayan Los Baños reports. Pong ng pagbabago candidates were miles away from their Ocho Derecho rivals today. The two groups were supposed to meet in Plaza Miranda after the opposition challenged Hugpong for a debate. Some administration bets say they are not taking the bait. Sa amin kasi yung uh, ayaw rin namin uh, kagatin yung pagpapasikat at our expense. Parang pagandahan kami ng platform, di ba? Ang sabi ko sa akin, I have nothing to gain even if I win eh. Last week, Hugpong ng Pagbabago not only promised to participate in debates but also not to engage in negative campaigning. But this morning in May Kawayan, Bulacan... Dapat po, Senador Navo ngayon, nadaya lang po ako ni Dilima noong 2016. Panlabintatlo po ako ng virtual siya. Natulog lang po ako ng 11.30 ng Mayo at Webe. 2.30 ng Mayo Ajis, panlabintat na ako. Estrada for his part lambasted those saying actors like him don't deserve a government position. Halos lahat ng papel ng Master Filipino ginampanan na po namin. Ginampanan ko na po ang papel ng taxi driver, tricycle driver, magsasaka, OFW. Kaya alam po namin ang nararamdaman, ang kalagayan at ang sitwasyon ng mga sang Pilipino. Tingnan po natin yung, uh, yung mga nasa kapilang kampo, nasa kapilang bakot. Kung yan ba ay nakatulong na sa mga sang Pilipino, palagay ko hindi pa nakatulong yan. 
pag, pag sariling interest lang ang nalalaman nila. Mayor Sara Duterte, their campaign manager, was quick to defend her candidates. Pinapinggan ko naman sila kanina, hindi naman sila tumira sa, hindi kandidato yung tinira nila. It was the past administration. So it's okay? Uh, yes, hindi naman yung kabilang uh, side of Senate, line up of senators. The younger Duterte once again brushed aside talks of a presidential run in 2022. Napakahirap ng trabaho ng isang president. So, uh, it will take more than a kanchaw or uh, uh, encouragement ng isa o dalawang tao. Reporting for News 5, May and Los Baños, we are One News.